Hey, what's up? Guys, another day, another hooker, another interview. We're live in Bogota, Colombia right now. We're down here in the lobby of a hotel because the hotels in Bogota do not let these girls from Venezuela enter the hotel if their proper immigration paperwork and passport is not in order. Now these girls fled a crisis in Venezuela um, and they fell into the street game, to the hooker game. And um, it's a very, very tough situation for these girls. She's agreed to do an interview. I'm gonna ask her some questions. She's 19 years old. We're gonna jump right into it, guys. And um, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. Okay, uh, first thing I'm gonna ask her is how old she is and how long she's been in Colombia working in this deal. ¿Cuántos años tienes y cuánto tiempo tienes aquí en Bogotá trabajando en eso? Y 19 años de edad. She is 19 years old and she's been here almost five years, just like her friend. And she fell into the game as soon as she got here. So you guys can imagine that right there. You know, this girl should be in high school. And, um, and you know, and she fell into this game right here. The, the situation in Venezuela is horrible and uh, it's really unfortunate. That's why I'm doing this to, to educate you guys on the on the situation. Let me ask her how she left Venezuela and what she had there. ¿Y cómo es que saliste de, de Venezuela caminando a pie o en el autobús o en el avión o cómo está la situación ahí? Mira, de muchas maneras porque cuando me vine me vine caminando. Ah, habla más fuerte. Mira. Ay, qué bueno. Mira, me vine caminando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Me tocó quedarme en un pueblo por allá uh -huh. porque estaba con unas amigas pero este, las amigas mías me abandonaron prácticamente y de ahí me salí del pueblo y me tocó caminar como por una semana más o menos. Okay, guys, she had to walk for a week, okay? She crossed the border in the countryside and she was supposed to go to her, her girlfriend's house or a friend's house and she wound up getting abandoned in no, and she had to walk for a week. Y no tenías nadie, ni dinero, ni... Nada. She had no money. She had uh, no friends. Uh, y tenías hambre y todo eso en esta todo, semana. Todo, she, she was very, very hungry during this time, during this one week trip. I mean, can you imagine that? We have a 15 year old girl walking for a week, hungry, you know, with nobody in a foreign country. Y tu familia quedaron allá en Venezuela. En Venezuela, sí. And her family was back in Venezuela. Um, now, I guess eventually she made it to Bogota, and now I'm going to ask her how she fell into the game. Pues por fin llegaste aquí a Bogotá. Sí. Y cómo es que um, llegaste allá? Descubrí por una amiga. So she got to Bogota and she met a friend and they brought her to to the, to the Santa Fe. Now these girls, for this interview, guys, these girls are street girls. They're not working in the clubs, okay? These girls are working the street corner. If you've ever seen the movie Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts, that's what it is. You're, you're driving down the street in Bogota and you see, you know, these girls working the street. And I said, hey, I said, would you like to do an interview? I'll give you a hundred bucks. And she said, okay. So here we are. So, um, ¿piensas en regresar para Venezuela y cuánto más tiempo vas a quedar aquí? La verdad no sé porque es que mi mami se quiere venir. Uh -huh. Entonces el país está muy feo ahorita para uno irse para allá. She said... You know, her mom wants to leave Venezuela now. Tu mamá quiere ir aquí. Uh -huh. Her mom wants to be here in Bogota, and it's a very horrible economic situation in Venezuela. And she does not think that she does not think that um, she's going to be going back to Venezuela. Uh -huh. um, sorry, guys. She had to take a she had to take a phone call. Tranquila. Tranquila. ¿Todo bien? Sí, creo okay. que... Uh -huh. Quiere como 10 minutos. ¿Está bien? No, está bien. Sino que le estaba diciendo que le había aprendido el mato. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, um, let me ask her this. I'm going to ask her if she charges more money to Americans or foreigners, and why doesn't she work in the club, and how much money she charges. Las mujeres de la calle cobran más dinero a los gringos, a los americanos, o... E igual a los extranjeros. No, pero no todas. Uh -huh. hay, hay unas que otras, pues, porque se supone que ya sabe que viene y ya sabe. 
Ajá. Es diferente, pero sí, más que todo siempre se le cobra más a, la, a los extranjeros que a los de ellos. So here's, it just depends on the girl. She said some girls charge more because they know those guys have money. They're coming from, you know, the United States or whatever. Um, ¿Y cobran más las mujeres de la calle o de, de los bares, los antros? Mm, so the girls in the bars are charging more money, you know, pero para trabajar en los bares, la mayoría de esas mujeres tienen sus documentos en orden y todo eso, o no tanto. Mm, lo, lo mismo de que todo. uno, sí, lo mismo que uno en la calle. Well, so they do charge more money in the clubs. Now I'm going to ask her why she works the street instead of inside the club. ¿Y por qué trabajas en la calle y no trabajas en el antro? Ay, porque hay que tener como más responsabilidad. Sí, porque mira, ves, por lo menos hay que hacer show y no me gusta hacer show. Y por lo menos si el sitio está, tiene todavía gente, hasta que no sea ya el último, no te va a ir. No en todo, obvio, pero sí hay más que todo el mundo. She said there's a lot of rules and regulations in the, in, the, in the clubs, like you have to dance and she doesn't like to dance. You can't leave sometimes until the last uh, customer is gone. Um, and I guess on the, in la calle, Llegas y sales cuando quieres. Claro, y yeah. manejo mi propia plata. So. Yep, she, she manages her own money in the street. She comes and goes as she wants to. She, there's no pimp, there's nobody taking her money, there's no rules, there's no regulations. It's just coming and going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, en años, I'm going to ask her how much longer she keeps doing this and what her plans for the future are. ¿Cuánto tiempo más quieres hacer esto y qué planes tienes para el futuro? No, este, quiero, este, por este año me voy a quedar trabajando, uh -huh. porque quiero traerme a mi mamá. Cuando mi mamá llegue, obviamente, como no sabe lo que estoy haciendo acá, uh -huh. tengo que ir buscando otro trabajo normal, un trabajo normal, y ya ahí me retiraré. She says when her mom gets here, because her mom does not know what she's doing, when her mom gets here, she will retire from the street life, and she will get a normal job. Okay, so she said she's got one more year left in the game, and then she's out. So I'm going to talk to her and see if we can't catch up with her in three or four months also and continue this conversation. Y si llego aquí en tres o cuatro meses más, tú y tu amiga me pueden ver aquí y podemos hablar otra vez. Yep, she said yeah, that would be perfectly fine and normal that we could talk again. Um, let me ask her about her bad experiences and things like that. ¿Te han robado allá, golpearon, o nunca te pasaron mala experiencia allá? No, gracias a Dios. She said, you know, thank, thank God there has never been a bad experience there for her. She's never been robbed, she's never been beat up, raped, anything like that. Now I'm going to talk to her, you know, just like I asked the other girl, I'm going to ask um, what she thinks about her life in comparison to a girl that's her age in the United States. Let me talk to her in Spanish. Lo que quiero preguntarte es, una niña de 15 años en Estados Unidos vive en la casa, ok, uh, estudia, sus papás pagan todo, ella se va a la escuela para aprender a manejar un carro, para sacar la licencia de conducir, normalmente cuando la, la, la chica tiene 16 años, se paga, se compra carro nuevo para ella, ok, uh -huh. y luego cuando tiene 20 años, se va a la universidad y estudia, no, todo eso, y los papás pagan todo, ¿qué piensas en comparación tu vida en comparación de la vida de, de una americana, por decir. No sé. Tiene, no sé, una gran oportunidad, obvio, porque a, uno, a mí me gustaría estudiar. Pero obviamente que por la situación del país no puedo. Ahorita no puedo. She said she doesn't know what to think about that, but those girls are very fortunate and they have a great opportunity. And that she would like to go to school, she would like to have those opportunities, but the situation in Venezuela and her situation in Bogota does not dictate that. It's impossible para ti para pensar para tener una vida así como tienen las gringas de. Uy, sí, ahorita con la situación del país, sí, es she, muy difícil. She said it would be very hard, it would be absolutely impossible for her to have that to have that life. Now I'm going to ask her about her personal life. She's got a boyfriend. Or I'm going to ask her a little bit about her customers and about her family. ¿Y tienes esposo, novio? She's like, no, she's single. Niños? Niños? No, no, no kids and she doesn't want any kids. Okay? So, so that's good. I'm going to ask her if she lives in the Santa Fe and how much is the rent. ¿Vives en la Santa? ¿Y cuánto es la renta más o menos? 
<coughs> Depende del hotel. Yo por lo menos pago 30 diarios. 30 mil. Diarios. She pays thirty thousand. She pays ten dollars a day to live in the hotel where she works. Okay, um, well, a little bit less than that. Probably seven or eight dollars a day, and that's where she lives. Um, y los clientes tuyos, la mayoría son. I don't ask her about her customers now. Son casados, son viejos, son de todo. La verdad es todo. Como She said. She said most of her customers, they're, they're, they can be married, they can be single, whatever. ¿Te han tocado clientes mujeres? Uy, no, no, no. No, she says she's never had a female customer, though, okay? Never had a female customer. Okay. Um, ¿Y tienes los mismos clientes a veces? Ah, chica, cuando le gusta, después se casa y se van por She said she has a lot of the same customers, a lot of repeat customers. All right. Um, ¿Qué más te iba a preguntar? I think what else I was going to ask her. Entonces, I'm going to ask her how much longer. I think I've already asked her this. I'm going to ask her how much longer she's, she plans on living and what has she done with the money. What's the most money she's ever made in one day? ¿Cuánto es el más dinero la plata que has sacado en un día? La, la, nivel más alto. Uh -huh. So about a hundred dollars maybe. Well, no, about three hundred dollars. That would be the most. ¿Y qué haces con tu dinero? Ah, pues mando obviamente dinero para las estudiantes. Me compro mis cosas, más el diario, más las cosas personales. Si no me visto bien, no me lo gasto. Boys, she sends money back to Venezuela. Captain Sabajo. And I've always told you this, guys. It doesn't matter if you're talking about a street girl, if you're talking about a club girl. Tijuana, Mexico, you're talking about a bar girl. The money is always sent home. And that's unfortunate because for every one girl you got out here busting ass, selling ass, you got a whole family that's usually taking advantage. Okay, and I'm not saying everybody's taking advantage. I mean, you know, they might be hard workers, but I kind of doubt it and I never really see it that way. What I see is the girl hustling and giving all her money away And it's unfortunate, but they leave this lifestyle with pretty much nothing. All right, I'm going to wrap this interview up. She's been great. Again, look at that face, guys. That's not a happy face. Um, I can promise you this girl has seen and been through some shitty times. Um, I hope she's okay. I hope she takes care of herself. And um, I'm going to tell her all this stuff, and then we'll go from there. Que te cuides. Espero que te vaya bien y que todo va a estar bien. Y pues... Que va mejor tu vida y, y, y a lo mejor nos vemos en tres o cuatro meses cuando estoy aquí y seguimos hablando. She said, thank you very much. For guys that you don't know, I give her a hundred bucks plus whatever this video makes I'm going to give her. That's equal to ten customers, okay? So there we go. All right. Muchas gracias. Okay. We'll see you guys. Ve. Caminando para allá. Holy smokes, can you see that? Unbelievable, huh? Terrible, unfortunate situation. Smash that like and subscribe button to you. I am bringing it to you, boys. Bringing you the truth.